For those who study the tremors chart of the latest eruption in the Reykjanes Peninsula, this was something strange happening yesterday. You notice that the, the 1 to 2 hertz frequency of the tremors suddenly shut up at around 4 o'clock and we saw the excess of the magma in the form of lava uh, overflowing, cascading down the rim of the uh, volcano. Then this continued to up to half past nine in the evening. And then we saw what happened next was interesting. The thermos chart suddenly plunged down the green line, one to two hertz frequency. And by nine, half past nine, it passed the uh, red uh, and blue tremors. And this is what happened. We had a rupture. Volcano cracked practically punctured itself, the cauldron emptied into the surrounding areas, and the lava was flowing toward the opposite direction of south, toward the north, toward the Swartzengi. Fortunately, uh, the eruption continued and repaired the crack and the wall. A little bit of the lava moved toward the north, but didn't go far to reach the Swartzengi or Blue Lagoon Defense Force. And today we can see that the lava tube has returned. This is the lower part of spattering. That's the lava tube. The volcano is mainly erupting through there. It's highly active at the moment, but not overflowing in that sense. So, uh, but we see a lot of a scattering of the lava in all directions, south, north, Toward the Sununka craters, you can see not on the back side. This is probably due to the deep source being uh, adding the uh, magma to the eruption site, creating a lot of wall collapses. Now, the lower source uh, or medium uh, source in the sourcing also contributing to that. And the land rise is now around three centimeters over the past uh, two, three weeks. As you can see in the Swartzengi and the Skipatsky Heron um, GPS data, and we can see the mild level of the uplift in the yellow color around the Swartzengi. This was around the time that the moon and the sun were in conjunction. That means the gravity of the moon and the sun are added together, practically pinching out through the flexure of the ground some magma, excess magma, into the surface probably.